Good afternoon everyone, it's currently 12 p.m. here in Nusa Penida, Indonesia and we're currently here at a temple called Goa Giri Putri Temple. So, for you to get into this temple here, you have to wear something called a sarong. Sarong, which is like a dress you need to wear to get into the temple. So we've got our driver, Deva, here again. So in, the small. I see. Yeah. So when you go in the t to the temple, you yeah. it the the small. small entrance. Yeah. So you have to like crawl inside. Yeah. Wow, that sounds amazing. So uh, yeah. So first of all, when you first arrive, you have to climb up some stairs. So it's not overly hard. <laughs> A few moments later, it's not the easiest to climb up these stairs with the sarong on. It kind of restricts your movements a little bit. And this temple, he's actually by the sea. So you can hear the peaceful sea waves from here. And I think this particular temple is actually lesser known by tourists, I think. Yeah. Because when you go to Nusa Penida, um, you have a lot of very beautiful attractions in Nusa Penida. So I think many people would have overlooked this particular temple. But it actually looks absolutely stunning as well. <sighs> wow. A lot of steps. Oh. <laughs> oh. The holy water. Thank you. For you to get into this temple, you can make a donation. So you need to make a donation. So you need to make a donation depending on your personal preference. So I saw most of the people on the list they paid around fifty thousand. So that's why I paid the cent as well. And. Uh -huh. Oh, this is the entrance. Yeah. <laughs> this. So, <laughs> this one right here is the entrance. Wow. Let's head in. Wow. Careful, okay? Okay. Oh, it's very hot and humid in there. Wow, not easy at all, especially with the sarong. Whoop. Don't want to bump my head. Yeah. Wow. Why is this temple under the cave? Wow. So uh, it's this part is probably like up to my knees height again, like knees height. Wow. You really don't want to bump into the head. You really got to crawl, crawl down. Wow. I'm basically on the floor right now. <sighs> wow. You can't really stand up here as well. Just because you can see the rock. It's up to my head. And of course, because this is a cave, so I can hear the echo. Echo, go, 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 go. <laughs> and also, it's very humid in here. Not sure if you can hear the water droplet sounds. So, of course, this is a temple in the cave. So that's why there are lots of um, statues and Balinese offerings as well. This is only the start of the cave and it goes all the way back. So there are actually four temples here at this cave. Yeah. So you're explaining there is one here. One, the first in here, front. Yep. Yeah. And then two, another one or two, two over there. Yeah. And an up one. And then when we go back up, there is okay. one more. I see. So there are four temples in this cave. What are these things? That's a seat down for. Ah, these are seats yeah. for ceremonies. Yeah. I see. So these are seats for the ceremonies. So the last one is there. So these are two temples. Yeah. Ah. So behind me right here, that's the two temples. So inside the temple there are a few light bulbs, but they're not too many. So the temple itself is very dim inside. Um, yeah, but you don't really need a torch or anything because there are lights around. Oh. So every year in September, there's a festival called Ojalan Festival. Ojalan. Ojalan Festival. And people actually fly in from other places yeah. all the way to this cave right here and they do the ceremony yeah. here. 
Wow, that's amazing. Bali, back in here. Wow, Bali, yeah. like main, yeah. main Bali yeah. Island. Yeah. And they fly all the way to here just so they can attend a ceremony. You can see the host, he was carrying a bucket of water and he was like sort of spreading water on the people's head and also I think they put some into their hands as well and they have to drink the water and after that they get some something to put it here is it rice? rice yeah. yep so they put uh, rice onto their head forehead yeah. and then after that they get some sort of like um, like necklace or is it? no oh for the hands ah oh, like the one Denver has is that a bat? yeah bat oh not sure if you guys can see, but all the black dots here, like these ones, they're the bats. This is the bat cave. Okay, so now that this cave temple tour has come to an end, we're actually making our way all the way back to the very start. So we're gonna crawl out of the cave again, um, because uh, that's where our motorbike was parked. Otherwise, if you go through the exit over there on the other side just then, it's gonna take a long walk all the way around back to the car park. <sighs> We've been in the cave for the last 10 years. The overall review of this cave is that it's pretty amazing. It's a very interesting experience because first of all, temples in the cave never cease to amaze me because I don't know, just the feeling, the, the climate inside was very hot and humid and uh, you can see the bats hang upside down on the rooftop. So that was really cool. Um, but yeah, we came back the same way um, that we went in just then. Overall, a very good experience. It's also a good way to learn about Balinese culture, um, like the Hindu religion as well. So definitely worth a visit. So leave it here. Thank you. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>